Good morning and thank you so much for joining us here at Local 3 News today. One more look at those current cold temperatures outside. Many of our communities beginning the day in the 20s. You're seeing that for Athens, Cleveland, Blue Ridge, Murphy, Dalton, Fort Payne, Scottsboro, up towards Fall Creek Falls, all in the 20s right now. Chattanooga currently sitting at 30 degrees with those calm conditions. Today is going to be a beautiful day for you to head outside. Now, if you want to get some of that morning exercising, go out to the park before heading into work. It will be chilly out there. 8 a.m. 30 degrees. Those spots in the 20s now still in the 20s at 8 a.m. But you also to get it paired with plentiful sunshine. That means a quick warm up this morning. So by noontime, it's still cool, but certainly feeling better. 49 degrees and then check out the temperature at 3 o'clock. If kids wanting to play outside after school today, it's going to be great for February 1st. 58 degrees and mostly sunny at 3 p.m. Now we will have some gradually increasing clouds from the west during the afternoon hours, but they're generally high thin clouds, so not making an impact so much, but it's still going to be a gorgeous day ahead. Here's a look at our high temperatures for this first week of February because what you're going to notice is there's the normal, the average line and temperatures really are above that all week long. Sunday, the one day that's meeting up with it at 52, but check out Friday and Saturday that warmth in the low 60s. So certainly today all the way through Saturday, we have that gorgeous weather in place to enjoy all your outdoor fun activities. Very quiet outside right now. Nothing showing up on our clouds and radar. Uh, we have a couple of spots that there's a little bit of that river or stream valley fog outside of that. That. No really weather worries for the first part of your Thursday. I do want to pull back a little bit further to show you how this high pressure is close to our area. That's what brings the clear skies and kind of dominating with that nice weather. But beyond that to the west, that's where we do have some clouds that are beginning to filter into portions of Louisiana and Arkansas. As all of this shifts eastward, that's that layer of some high thin clouds that we'll have this afternoon. Again, really not seeing much of an impact for that. In fact, hardly even showing up on future cash. You can kind of see a little bit of that filtering in but it'll increase slightly more going into the overnight hours. I do want to point out to you early on Friday morning, you can see one faded out little green blip right there. There's a very slim chance early tomorrow morning there could be a stray sprinkle or raindrop. It's not even enough for me to put per a percentage on the seven day forecast, but just wanted to kind of give you that heads up. Overall, tomorrow is going to be another fantastic day with those mostly sunny skies. Wind coming from the north, but the air will be even milder, even with that north breeze with highs tomorrow in the low 60s. Saturday is looking fantastic as well. 61 for your high on Saturday. Let me take you to Sunday. So here's Sunday morning. We're still dry. We're watching kind of this diagonal line of a system down to the southwest of us. First, clouds are going to increase and move into our area. The further to the northeast you are, the sunshine lasting longer. Your highs on Sunday will be a little bit warmer. By Sunday late afternoon into the evening time, that rain kind of pushes into our southwestern communities. It's going to continue to lift up Sunday evening, and then it'll continue with a few scattered residual showers Monday morning, and then improving conditions for your Monday afternoon as all that rain fades away. So total rainfall from this event, you can really see that difference from northeast down to southwest west as far as those rainfall totals go. And again, this will be Sunday late afternoon through Monday morning. Back to today, mostly sunny. A few of those PM high clouds, 59 for your high temperature. Tonight, 36 partly cloudy and that possible early morning raindrop. And then tomorrow, 63 mild for Groundhog Day. Yep, tomorrow's February 2nd, the fun and festive holiday of Groundhog Day. And then Saturday, a high of 61 with that mix of sun and clouds. Overall, we had that one rain chance Sunday PM through Monday. Monday AM, but the rest of the seven day forecast, drier conditions with that sunshine.